Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm at Locals with my friend Ron, and we're getting a deck profile. What deck is it? Blue Eyes, White Durgan. Let's see this. <laughs> Alright, so unlike most decks that I've been seeing, most people run two, and only two, but I've been running three. Mostly to make sure that your field spell is live. As long as your field spell is live, your maiden is really useful. So, those two. And I'm only running two of the Spirit Dragon. So, it's kind of, a, I guess, a reverse of um, some of the decks I've been seeing. So, obviously, Spirit Dragon is really good. Banishing spells and traps, and it can bounce out of the way. Um, I'm running three Ancient Stone of Ancients. Yeah, that thing. So, uh, I'm sure you all know what this card does, but it's really useful for getting cards back. Um, if you have a trade in hand, don't have a blue eyes. Banish it from grave, get a blue eyes back, do the trade in all the way through. Only one white stone. Uh, searching blue eyes isn't really all that important. It's really easy to get them to hand, anyways. You just want them in the graveyard or out of deck. So. Uh, three Sage. It's a really good card in the deck. It searches out any of your level one light tuners, like you know, your maidens or your Valor. Uh, also, you can ditch it to get a blue eyes from deck if you really need it. Two Maiden, uh, three really didn't seem like a little too much, so I started running two just to make sure I would have at least the one, and of course it's searchable, so with the field spell you can turn one as long as you have a Sage with you. So uh, you know how Maiden works, which means pretty good. One Master, Master is actually really, really good for recycling your stuff. And the Graveyard effect, uh, I really feel like this card is, shouldn't have been a common, but I, it's, it's pretty good for that effect. The recyclability, just the one. And uh, of course, they have the Blue Eyes from Grave whenever you need it. Targeting a Maiden also gives you two Blue Eyes instead. And it summons any Blue Eyes monster, so like a uh, Blue Eyes, the Spirit Synchro from the Graveyard. So, so. One Valor. It's searchable, so I mean, I might run two later on. It's, it's doing alright, so I'll make sure. Uh, two Maxi. The deck has a problem with keeping a. I guess we're, we're getting into all its cards back once you make plays, so you use the Maxis in this, especially in this format, to get all your specials off. And right now, just uh, I have extra space. I'm teching, so I'm using some kaiju's. Uh, I need. I'm looking to use two game of steel, so you can make sure you run over it with your uh, spirit dragon of white. But I only have one at the moment, so I'm just using him as a placeholder until I get another game of steel. So, tributing gig monsters and being able to run over them is nice. All right, for spells, of course, you got three trade in. Uh, since the since the eggs don't work so well, I'm only using two cards constants. You're mo I mean, I'm mostly I'm either pitching them for certain cards or just using them for their effects in the other ways. But you only really need two. I mean, I never really use more than two every time I play when I tested it. So uh, two silver's cry. Uh, obviously, it's a great card. You get out your uh, your spirit dragon of white to banish spells and traps and your blue eyes whenever you need them. Only two field spells. I'm not even running a terraforming. Uh, I'm just, the card really isn't that vital. It's nice to have, but you don't need it. It's just a good push. It's like, the deck doesn't need it, but having it is definitely a nice little advantage. And a card I've been using for a while is now uh, Creature Swap. Now, Creature Swap, I probably the only reason I was to make this deck viable at the moment, because all of your little guys are really tiny. All, like, you have the Master, you have, I mean, Maiden, not my knowledge, but Sage. Mostly because of Sage. Whenever you run Summon Sage, you're stuck there for a turn unless you have anyone else. So the best thing you can do is summon Sage, get a search, and swap it for anything like get a Dark Destroyer or a Dark Law, whatever they got that's big over in the field, take it. It's, it's a pretty nice little play. Um, sometimes I have done it to where I've tributed dark, a Dark Destroyer for a Kaiju, summoned him out, and then Creech swapped it for the Kaiju and punched him over, so. And then of course two Twin Twisters. Uh, of course Twin Twister, you gotta have it right now. And this deck really thrives off of cars that pitch, so that's perfect for the deck, at least in general. One Soul Charge. I've been kind of going in between Soul Charge and other cards that I find. So there's Soul Charge and there's Kinky Bio. So I mean, but I'm going with Soul Charge for now just because of the replayability. Two Magic Jammer. Negating spells is really, really good in this format. Uh, I like, I'm like. i seeing a lot of the Kaiju Necros. Uh, when I saw Dark Little decks come around, I wanted to use Magic Jammer. Magic Drain I've been seeing is getting some play. But Magic Jammer is better in my sense because it gets rid of the spell I want and it pitches the Blue Eyes or the, the egg that I want to get rid of. Uh, two grounds. The I, I really liked drowning, but half the time you're sitting with monsters that are really tiny on your board, and you can't use drowning at the time. So you use this to doesn't target, puts them all face down, doesn't destroy, and you can of course get over them pretty easily. So two call. It uh, doesn't really need more than that. It seems to work perfectly. I I draw them too often as it is, just just two, but so that's fine. And then two strike. Now that's the main deck. Now for the extra deck. Of course, I've got the only. I'm only using two. The extra deck needs a lot of space, and this card's good. But you'll, I never, I've never used more than one most of the time. So I mean, honestly, it's still like a very card. And of course, I go along with the Azor Eyes. Now, other cards that go, I can go into him with is a uh, okay, Black Rose Moonlight, Michael, and a Star of the Spark for the time being, just to have it. I, I've actually never gone to Star of the Spark, so I'll probably find another placeholder for that later on. 
As for those, uh, I also have Crystal Wing. Of course, you can make the Crystal Wing using the, the part you have really easily. I'm throwing a Leo in here for now, so you can make the synchro the 3100 it's over. It's not, I mean, you can't be targeted in these 3100, so it's not bad. And then for other synchros, I have a little tech called Cloud Castle. Now, Cloud Castle works really well. It's, it's I mean, the main effect you're going to use it for is it summons a level 9 monster from Grave. So, of course, usually once you tribute and get your, you're going to summon him back and get him off. Now he's viable, back from Grave. And the other effect, of course, is that your opponent can't attack with level 8 little monsters from their summon. So, I mean, that's more of a stully kind of thing. You're never really going to use it unless you're really desperate. But you get it for the other effect. Uh, let's see, see his monsters, I have one slacker. It's been a lot more effective than I thought it'd be. I was running Roost for a bit, but Roost just got kept getting negated, and this one just sits really well on everything. Uh, I got two rank eights. I have, of course, Lancelot, and everyone's favorite today is Tachyon. Oh, Tachyon, what the fuck am I saying? Titanic Galaxy. Of course, Spell Negator. Uh, uh, pull on hits. Lancelot is probably one of the greatest rank eight I've ever seen in my life. Just attack directly, destroys monsters, and it has a lead effect to get anything once per turn. And I actually run a couple of rank nines. I run one Inner Blathnir. That's uh, kind of what Cloud Castle will go into. Is you'll Cloud Castle into something and Inner Blathnir. And Inner Blathnir, of course, is spot removal with no target and it hits from the hand and grave and everything, so it's really nice. And then as another rank nine, which I'm Tekken, which works pretty well, is number 92. Number 92 can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, any battle damage you would take goes to your opponent. And during your opponent's end phase, if they have set or summoned any cards, you can attach them to and banish all those cards. So it's a good pressure play. And also, if he's destroyed by the sea materials, he comes back in immediately with a thousand attack for each card, or for each banished card. So, uh, I've mostly been using him against Cosmos. Whenever they bring out a Dark Destroyer, I'll just summon him and punch, and usually they're stuck with that for a little turn. So. And that's the deck. That's the deck. All right. So, how do you feel about Blue Eyes? Um, I know, like, when that new structure deck comes out, it's supposed to get a little bit better. How's that going to change this deck? I've I have tested a lot with Alternative Dragon, and Alternative Dragon is just really, really effective for getting off of this deck a lot faster. So, I mean, that'll definitely the deck does do a little bit more speed. The only problem with this deck that I that I've seen so far is that it doesn't break often, but when it does, it breaks really hard. So, it's that's kind of a problem. Uh, so, Alternative will fix that a lot, especially with Melody around. Uh, the 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 the, 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 the um, the Ritual Monster is really, really good. It's, it'll put the deck probably up there in the top tier of play. So that'd be really nice to actually have this something to play with. And how do you feel like it stacks up against like Cosmos, PK, Fire? I've had really good Mars. matchups against PK. Like PK Fire, I can this deck demolishes PK Fire. It stops all their graveyard effects. Everything they do is just not big enough to get over what I have here. The only issue, I mean, I do have problems with Cosmos because Dark Lady is now out. Other than that, I mean, I can usually get around it. I'll just pull out a, like a, a Blue Eyes, and then I'll have a Spirit on field. So any of the machines I got to grave are automatically not going to get all their effects. And like I said, I have number 92 in their blast here to get rid of the target. Cost Mojo is probably the only card I really have a trouble with in that matchup. And then, of course, there's Kaijus. Kaijus are always a problem for everyone right now. I really wish that those weren't a deal, but that's what they are. But overall, those are the only, the only problem decks I've seen so far was, was Cosmo. All right, I appreciate the deck profile. If you guys like to give it a thumbs up, give feedback in the comments. And um, thanks again.